My name is Kainto on the Tech Pro and today I'm going to be telling you about functions in Node.js. So today we are going to continue with tutorial 2 of our Node.js series of lessons for 2019. So today's class will be functions in Node.js. These functions in Node.js is similar to what you have in JavaScript. So it's going to be really easy. So we are going to cover five things, defining functions, calling functions, parameters of functions, anonymous functions, and functions functions to functions. All right, so I also like to remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below so that you get notified when I make new lessons. And also you will motivate me to continue making these lessons. If you have any comment, leave it below for me and I'm going to respond to you. So please just subscribe to my channel uh, now. So thank you. So... <coughs> Before I continue, I would like to also teach you that if you look down here, you'll see the terminal and now it's cluttered up with a whole lot of things. So to delete it, you can just use CLS. Uh, you use CLS, let me just write it for you. Use CLS to clear the console. So if you type CLS and press enter, it's going to clear the console for you. So that's something you just need to know. More likely to scroll it up, uh, basically. So those commands may will actually be there for you in case you want to reuse them. So let's quickly start with defining a function. To define a function, you simply uh, use fun use the name function and you specify the name of the function. So let's say we want a function to uh, to say a greeting greetings, and then after this you now specify opening and closing uh, curly braces. So this is how to define a function. Now, we now need to give a body to this function. What will this function do? So let's say I want to display a greeting. Good morning, my friend. So let's say console.log. Let's say good day, my, my friend. Okay semicolon at the end. So this is a simple function. This principle applies so even if it's a complex function of uh, 50 lines, it's the same principle that applies. So if I run this code, remember that if you don't save, then it is not going to work. So always use either file, you can use file save, or use control F. So always check here that you have, you can see here you have unsaved, uh, saved. So can use control s and it's safe so if we run this code if you go to node.js uh, terminal and you just say uh, app remember you always run the file name because this file name is app node app nothing happens because in as much as this function is correct it is not running so to run it you are going to call it so calling a function you simply say the name of the function and say greetings so this is basically how to call a function again if you don't save it's not going to run because you have the unsaved there so control s and i'm going to if you press the up arrow is going to bring back the last command so you can say this runs and says good day my friend so what is happening here is when you call a function by writing the name of the function it takes control to where the function is it starts running this function so if you have another line of code here, console.log, and you have back. Right, so no matter how many lines of code is here, when, once you call this function, it's going to abandon whatever is here and goes to start running this place. So once it gets to this place, to the end of the function, it comes back to this place. So that's how function call works. Now you may want a function that takes in parameters and gives some output. So let's say we want to write a function to calculate sum and we want this function to take two numbers as parameters. So and it gives us the sum of these two numbers. So you simply say function uh, let's say print print sum that's the name of this function so inside this place we are going to specify the parameters we want so if we want two parameters you just choose a name for the parameters a and b right okay so at this point you simply use the same procedure open and close brace and then enter so what you want to do here is just to 
do the calculation or actions you want to perform. In this case, we want to, to calculate the sum. Sum is, is equal to A plus B. And then we print this sum to the output. Let's just make it a bit fancy and say the sum is... Okay, so... The sum is, so plus, plus will concatenate this string we've written here with the value of the sum. So again, for us to run this function, we have to call it. So to call it, you simply say print sum. So in this case, unlike the previous function we wrote, this function needs a parameter. But before I do that, let's run it and let's see what happens. So node. So you can use the up arrow if you press the up arrow once, or uh, it displays the last command that you use. So if I print this, it doesn't actually work. So it gives us a whole lot of errors because, okay, but I think we need semicolon here. And I'm going to clear the screen. Output screen, CLS, and I say. Okay, so basically it doesn't work. So, so let's see. <coughs> So now we are going to give it a parameter. So let's give it six and then give it four. Now, remember to also save. Sorry, Control S to save. So, so print some. Oh, sorry. Okay. So no doubt. So it gives us error. So now, the problem is that. Okay, let's try to read the error message there. So you see, console is not a function. So you see console, we need to say console.log. Right, so that's where the problem is coming from. So let's get back here, play our screen, and then use control S to save. Um, so control S to save. So again, I'm going to because there's something I want to show you. I want to run this, this code without giving parameters to this function. And I want to show you what is going to be the output. All right. So what I want you to see is that it says sum is not, sum is NAN because a number was not provided. So it gives us NAN meaning not a number. That is what NAN means. So if I pass parameters to it, so let's say six and 10, so we expect it to be 16. Again, if I run it, it says none. Why? Because it has not been saved. So Control S to save it. And now if I run it again, it displays sum is 16. So basically, that is how to run a function. And this time we can also give a string to a function. So let's say uh, A and this A now, let's say, it should simply print out whatever is given to it. So let's say, Let's say written in French. Bonjour. Okay. All right. So bonjour means good morning. So at this point, um, say greeting. That's the name of the function. This time I'm changing it. So if I say say greeting, and I'm going to give it uh, in this case. Oh, sorry, this is what I wanted to do. So console.log a, and now I'm giving it a parameter, bonjour. All right, so at this point, I'm going to save, control S, and I'm going to run this up, and it says bonjour, as you can see here. So in this case, I'm giving it a parameter, which is a string. All right, let's now go to anonymous functions. Let me clear my screen. Let me uh, take out all of uh, a few of these so that we make some space. Anonymous function is a sim is simply a one-line function in Python, a one-line function. So I'm going to just write it out here. Anonymous function is one-line function. So, all right. So let's write this same function uh, in one line. Or let's write a print sum function in one line. So in that case, you simply say print sum equals function and then a b and then 
still on the same line, you simply say console.log and you simply say a plus b. Right. Let's see if we are missing out something. Okay. No. So basically, this is exactly the same function we've written, but this time it's just in one line. So that is what is called anonymous function. So I'm not going to spend time with it. I'm just simply going to call it. So if I say print sum, if I still give it two numbers, two and three, and I'm going to save control S, and I'm going to call it uh, to run this up. So Okay, we see console.log, so we have error. So console is not defined again. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's, it's have to be a lowercase letter, console. All right, so the debugging skill is very important. So at this point, I'm going to save, control S. I'm going to clear my screen, CLS. So I'm going to run again, so we can see it gives us the output of 8. So this is called one line function. Now we want to do function to function. Now we have a function, I want to pass it as a function to another function. So let's say we have a, another function called new function. So function, uh, new function. So this function now is going to take a function as a parameter, right? Good. A func function, so making this typographical error every time. So now it's going to just call it just like this. So what I'm going, if I'm calling new function, what I'm going to give it is another function. So let's just call new function, new function, and I'm going to give it uh, greetings. Right, so that is basically how it works. I'm going to put a semicolon. I'm, I'm going to say Control S to save. And if I run this, it's going to say Good day, my friend, and bye. So this is actually a function, and it's taking another function as a parameter. I'm going to stop here. We've covered the five points we wanted to cover today. I would like to thank you for viewing. I would like to remind you to subscribe. I would like to also remind you to leave a comment for me. If you have any challenges, whatever, like this video and also share it with your friend. I will see you in the next lesson.